Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, uh, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please email me, bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com, or drop a comment in the comment section if you'd like to see a bottle on the show. Tonight's bottle is Jim Beam Bonded, brought to you by David Schweiberg. As always, the guys are going to taste bourbon or whiskey that they don't know what it is until it's revealed. They're going to tell you what flavor notes they get off of it and how much they're willing to pay to get that bottle in their cabinet. If you like what you see tonight, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And it looks like I have some pretty heavy pores here. So I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. And with that, I think I just told you everything you need to hear. I'm going to go get the guys and we're going to see, I have to taste this. We're going to see what they think of this, but I'm super excited to try it. Mm -hmm. go get the guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode 131 of Bourbon Blind Reviews. How did you remember that? All my videos are numbered on the computer when I edit them, so I just had to go back two episodes. <laughs> it was on 129 last I checked, so this uh, makes it 131. So, so it is. So it is. I have I have no scientific proof to argue with you on that, so we're just gonna go with That's it. That's not counting pop the tops or any other episodes. So or lives, definitely not lives. So he's Kyle, I'm Nick. Yep, we do tasting things and give you There's notes and a price tag. That was my shoe you just heard? I didn't fart, I promise. He lies. That's, nope. That's, that's what that was. Those were different noises. <laughs> Luckily, smell of vision isn't a thing. Actually, I really didn't. Nick did earlier, though. I before did. We, before we started filming, he, it was bad. We had to clear out for a minute. It was bad. Let's <laughs> see if we get on the nose of this. You guys are nasty. <laughs> Quiet in the front. Dark? Darkness? Dark fruit? Dark sugar? Dark... Just darkness? Just darkness. I do get an aspect of like a light summer fruit, but overwhelmingly dark darkness no ethanol. yeah virtually no ethanol so that's i'm like deep in the glass yeah deep in the glass and nothing anyway i want to get in here and see if it do what it do hmm 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 that's not what i expected that's so many things <laughs> it's so many <laughs> things <laughs> so i'm gonna go in for a second sip just to like wrap my brain about what just happened. I'm so confused. Did that not like change four or five times at least? It's. It was almost like I took three different sips during that sip. <sighs> Spiciness into sweet. Into fruity? Into fruity. Into like a savory? But also kind of spicy. I I was gonna I was hoping you weren't gonna say sweet because I was gonna be like no no it was spicy, like a yes. savory spiciness I'm I have like so a, many questions like a white pepper spice or like a baking spice like yeah it's it's definitely like that that lighter white pepper so I have questions I, that's help I, I can't help I'm trying like I'm trying it's really. It's not easy. No. But it's easier to pick out flavor notes when you're like, okay, this is, we're on this track now. Right. And this is And like, this is, <laughs> it's not disjointed though. No. Because you're not, you're not tasting everything on top of each other. It just. It's like driving a really nice car with a broken tie rod. It's all over <laughs> the place, but you're very comfortable. It's, yeah. I would say it's between 90 and 100 proof. I could see that pretty easily. I. I doubt it's over a hundred. I really don't think it is. It might be, but I don't think it is. It does. I, I'm not getting. Yeah, I'm gonna see what a little bit of water does. Just even with the water, the legs are pretty slow to run. Like a couple of them will run quickly, but that's super good. Well, yeah, really, really slow to run. Like, but this would not be a daily drinker. Mm. Now this. This almost would be like a special occasion thing. Or like you just I mean, really want to sit down and you want one glass to savor. And to pick out just for enjoy like for two hours. hours. For like a movie. I apparently drink way faster than you. 
We have different <laughs> definitions of savoring. But I mean, I, really, I I'd, I'd pull, I'd pull, I'd pull, I'd pour a little more. Well, yeah. If I was savoring, yeah, for that. But with the water, it it kind of killed a lot of the roller coaster. It just went like a s- sweet, spicy. Not, I don't, I don't like the nose with sweet, the water. Sweet and spicy. The nose with the water is astringent. Yeah. Ish. Sure. Not quite, but kind of in that realm. Right. Yeah. It just. Sweet and spicy is what I get. Sweet and spicy, and just like a, a, a tiny bit of ethanolishness on the finish, and that's it. Astringent kind of. Yeah. Something. So back to without the water. Interestingly, that without the water, it seems like the legs run faster. I'm having a real hard time putting the price on this. It's good, but it's interesting, different. Yeah. Kind of mind blowing. Like you said, it's hard to put a price on. It really the, is. The experience is astounding. If if you want this from a experience standpoint of something to drink that tastes very different, that that you will spend the entire glass on a roller coaster. Um, I'm gonna say a hundred bucks all day long. I'm gonna say if you want this for me from a drinking perspective, fifty. And like, like, if that's for, for the experience, which is what I would put this bottle in that section of my cabinet. That this right. is an experience bottle. Like when like, someone comes over that really enjoys bourbon, you're like, you gotta try this. You gotta try this. You're never gonna know where it's gonna turn you. Right. I'm, and uh, because that's where I would put it. I'm in this for a hundred bucks all day long. Right. Like I said, for the experience, hundred bucks, absolutely. Yeah. For me, from a drinking standpoint, because I've I've never had a bottle send me for so many loops as that one. Yeah, it's gonna be like Evan Williams or something, <laughs> right? Damn it! I told you that one's hard to open. What the <laughs> shit? <laughs> that is Jim Beam bonded. Wow! Hundred bucks, huh? Hundred bucks. Yeah, evidently, hundred bucks. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's got water in. Ew. Why would you do that? <laughs> because that's part of the process. For science. That so this is obviously out of Jim Beam, um, and it is bonded, which is a bottled and bond, so it should be exactly a hundred proof. It is. It is at least four years old. Bottled and bond also means from the same distillery. The same distilling season, there's two of them, spring and fall, and from the same master distiller also. Uh, has to be in a bonded warehouse, which pretty much all bourbon is nowadays. How much does it reach out? missing? I think it's around 30-ish, maybe even 20. Just why I had to come in and giggle at both of you, huh? I'm broken. I mean, Jim Beam has some real strong prices on affordability, like Knob Creek, single barrel, 120 proof for 45 bucks. Those are stag killers in my book. All day long. But when I heard $100, both of you guys say it, I was like, I have to come in here and say something. It is a roller coaster, is it, it not? Is so good. Neither one of you guys picked up the peanuts. No. I totally I don't. never get peanuts out of Jim Beam products. <laughs> I get nuts on this. I've, I've never gotten peanuts on Knob Creek. I've never gotten peanuts on Booker's. I've never gotten peanuts on any beer. I don't get peanuts, I get cashews. I don't get any nuts. I get nuts. I get nuts. You are nuts. That's nothing new either. But when you guys said 100 proof, I was like, I got to jump in here. Now now that you say it, I get peanuts. Well, it's influence. But that could very easily be seeing the label and everything else. I did agree with your uh, spicy note and your roller coaster because I tasted this before uh, when I was doing the intro. And I was like, wow. I I was like, yep, that's good. Good, good, good. Did you get the roller coaster of like uh-huh. all the different flavors? Because sweet know, and crazy. spicy and the savory sweet. and I don't know about the savory, but the 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 savory was right before the spicy, if I remember right. Savory was like see, I get all closer to the finish. I get more of your standard Jim Bean notes to it, but, but it does have a it does have some. You also know what it is. Well, so. I, I don't get the option, well, except on our lives when I get right. blinded. And I usually can pick Jim Beam products out of the lineup pretty right. well. I mean, I really do love the distillery. I really do like uh, Jim Beam products, and I think it's 
really, really good. So. Jim Beam puts out some awesome stuff for really awesome prices. They really do. Uh, Except for I mean, Booker's has gotten kind of expensive. I, was I think that's where you were going. Yep. But and that's other that's than, tragic in my book. That's, other than that, those though, are fight I mean, words. Jim Beam single barrel. A lot of their stuff is really good and really Distiller's good cut. prices. The Stellar's cut that you can't ever find. Yeah. Oh well, that's over um, there. There's another one. <laughs> Even Devil's single cut. barrel. Devil's cut. Devil's cut's good. Yep. yep. We're, we're looking at all of the Jim Beam products now. <laughs> uh, the Knob Creek twice barreled rye. That is very good. It is definitely a bourbon drinker's rye. It's if you like on the rye. Side. It's definitely on the sweeter side. It's it's a bourbon drinker. It, it's a bourbon drinking rye, yeah. Because I really, like I rye. really, really like it. There's there's something that a lot of y'all don't know. So you know, I I come up here, I pour bottles on a day to day basis, and you know it it just magically happens. I can spend 15, 20, 30 minutes looking for a bottle in this room, and every once in a while, our bottles aren't even in here. They're actually in the house now. So um, tonight, I just lucked out and was really a. I've been looking for this bottle for a while. So, really? yeah. <laughs> I've missed it. It was sitting it's in, in the, the back. It's in the Jim Beam section. It is in the Jim Beam section. <laughs> but they have their own section. They do. But in my defense, it literally was behind two bottles of uh, Jim Beam. Single barrels. Cut, single yeah, barrel. single barrels. They're behind the single barrels. And I was like, I really don't want to do a single barrel because, you know, Single barrels vary so differently, so I was really excited to find this. It is a neck pour. I think we do need to revisit some of our neck pours. Um, that one's fantastic. It is. So. And la last week's Rowan's Creek was fantastic as well. So it was. there, there's that too. But. Um, um, the uh, not finished Rowan's Creek. The yeah. not, it was, not it was finished. Not, it was no, not finished. No, it was not. So. Swore up and down it was. Well, are we ready to get on off and let you all have your lives back? On, or lunch breaks. Yep. I mean, Patreon members absolutely love you guys. You guys are magical. Anyone that's made it this far into the video, bravo. Yeah, cheers. Um, <laughs> cheers. You apparently have a lot of patience because. Yep, there's you know. that. Um, anyway, yeah, t shirts to Teespring, link in the comment. Uh, more glassware will be coming soon. Let me know. Uh, I have a website. If any of you guys are website designers, I mean, I could maybe use you. Um, we'll pay in bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, until Friday, noon central next week, cheers and drink blind. Drink always. And see us at 1030. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely. Thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next week.